So we're going to look at some browsing and loading of sounds in this video. And we have a really nice browser in the Machina controller where we can navigate for various different types of sounds. And we'll run through all of this now. So I can hit my browser button up here and it brings up the browser. And then I can scroll for what type of sound I want to browse for using these right and left buttons. And we'll start over to the right here and we'll start with samples so I can browse for samples in Machina and this is any WAV samples that I have loaded in the Machina library or various libraries that I have installed so I have the Machina factory library but I also have some Machina expansion packs battery samples and uh, you notice as I'm scrolling through it's playing back the WAV sample. If we don't want that to happen I can hold shift and hit the pre here button. Now I can just browse through and I'm not hearing that WAV sample. So we can customize. Do we want to hear the WAV sample as we browse through? Pre here on or do we not? Pre here off. Shift and then that brings up the pre here option. And as we can see here, I've got my WAV samples on the right. And as you can see, I'm, I've got thousands of thousands of samples. So it's quite hard, or it would be quite hard for me to find the right sound if I was searching for a kick drum. So what we can do for start is we can hold shift and then we can scroll and you notice it moves through Previously I'm going like that, it's going one at a time. I hold shift and it does a whole bunch at a time. I can't remember how many it scrolls through in one kind of gesture of your controller there. Maybe it's like 50 or something like that. So we can scroll through much more. But I'm still on A. So this is where the all types category and the browsing and refining your search becomes quite powerful. So uh, this button here, all types, I hit on this. These are touch sensitive, so I only need to put my, just touch the top of it and it brings up the options. And I can now narrow down that search. So I can go, let's just search for drums now. And it's only gonna bring drum sounds up now in this search category. I can go back and go for loops and it will just bring loops. or one shots, so these might be little vocal chops. Weird little samples and stuff. So if we go back to our drums, you notice when you go into this all types to narrow down the search to drums, I actually get a various subtype options. So then we can narrow our search down further and just narrow go drums and kick drums. Now it only brings the WAV samples that are kick drums up. And that makes it much easier for me to search for the right sound very quickly and effectively. And we even get an all subtypes category. So I could go for and narrow the search down to analog kick drums, for example. And now it's only the analog kick drums that's bringing up in my search field. And I could still use the shift to scroll through a whole bunch of them in one go. And once we've found the sample that we want to load, we've got the load button up here. So we hit load and it will load it into the selected sound slot. So I had this first pad selected. Go to my pad mode, you can see the kick drum is loaded in there. Go back to my browser. If I wanted to load it into a different pad slot, select. So I've got a kick drum in there, select. My, my second sound slot now and you can see the second sound slot is selected and now I could go well I've got my kick drum there I want something else in here I want a clap I like that clap sound load that go to my pad mode kick drum clap and then I could select my third sound slot back to my browser 
and stay on drums, load a closed hi-hat sound, load, pad mode. So you can start building your own kit effectively using that method, narrowing down the search and we're searching for sample or WAV sample type over to the right, over to the left we can navigate through products. So for example the so the dark pressure machine expansion pack was a tech house expansion pack. I can navigate for t to this product here and now it's only bringing up the samples contained within that expansion pack. Oh, we still got it. It's only bringing up so we get rid of that. It's now bringing up all of the samples contained within that sample pack. But then I can use the search categories or the search fields on the right and on the left to go, well, let's just navigate to all of the shaker sounds contained within the dark pressure expansion. And if we want to load that, bear in mind, we need to select our empty pad slot, this empty one over here. If we want to load it into a fresh sound slot, hit load and the shaker is loaded in there. Back to the browser. So there's our samples category, how we can browse for and load for samples. We scroll to the right here, we get effects now and these are either one or a series of effects and in the in the way that with the WAV samples we've got a sound that we can load in here this is not going to load any sound it's just going to load a delay a reverb or a distortion or something like that so say if we want to load some stuff onto this kick drum again we can navigate via products so this is going to look at, for example, reactor effects or the solid bus compressor and all of the effects or presets contained for that. Uh, supercharger. So we could go to the supercharger and load Dirty Kick on there. And you notice now I'm not getting my sample. So that's something to bear in mind that with that sound slot selected, loading that effect in there. It's just loaded the effects and it's ridden over the sample. So let's go shift. We can undo here, shift, undo. To get our kick back up. Now what we need to do is go to our plugin instance. There's our kick drum. To load those effects, we need to go to the right. Scroll there, back to browser load like dirty kick and we go back to our plugin instance i still got my kick but i've got the supercharger processor on there so we'll go through that process again and um, browser we're lo lo looking at some effects let's now Rather than scrolling by product, let's scroll by all types, select, say this time the clap, and go, we want some distortion effects on the clap, navigate to the distortion effects, subtype, and analog distortion, load one of these. Obviously, because they're effects, we can't preview the sound. So this focused one. So if I, if I hit load now, it will, it will load it over the clap. We won't have that clap sound on there. So let's go to my plugin instance and scroll to the right. So I've no longer got the sampler where the clap is. I've not no longer got that selected because with that selected, I load the effect. I override it. Scroll to the right there and then load the focused effect. And if we look at this, I've now got my clap sample with that effect applied. So there's effects and 
scroll to the left again, we get instruments. So here we can load in our instruments, whether it's samplers or synthesizers. So I'm going to go to an empty sound slot, sound slot 5 there, select and hit pad 5. And we can now, again, I have a navigate via category. So all of my synthesizers that I have installed here, go to FM8 and load. Again, we can use the pre here or not have the pre here selected. And scroll for an FM8 sound. And in the same way as we search for the WAV samples, you can navigate your, or you can narrow down your search field. Go, I want to search for bass sounds, uh, distorted bass sounds in FM8. It's going to just bring all the distorted bass sounds contained within FM8 and then I can navigate. You do need to install the preview library in order to be able to hear the synth previews like this. So if you're not hearing these, you need to install the preview library and it just plays them all back at the note of C3. So we can scroll for this one. We like the sound of that, load that. It might take a second to load because it's a synth. And there we have it, go to my plugin, FM8 is loaded with that preset. So we could go sec select another sound slot now. And you know we could we could take the product search off. So now we could just go in all of my instruments, let's just search for a nice synth lead and then go for classic poly lead. And it could even narrow it down again to something that was had a slow attack. And it brings up 23 results I've got. Whichever one that is, load that. You can see it's a Repro 1 synthesizer. So there's my instruments. That's how I can browse for and load instruments. So now let's take a look at sound slots. So sound slots are effectively what we created there with that kick drum. We loaded the sample and the effect. That's effectively a sound slot. Clap with the sampler, the clap sample and the distortion. That's another sound. And that is just simply a hi-hat with no effects added. But again, is a sound, as is that shaker. as are those, they're, although they're instruments, they're contained within a sound slot. So a sound slot could be any one of those things really. So let's go to our seventh pad slot here and let's go back into our browser um, and we can navigate for what type of sound slot we want to load in the same way as we have done previously. We get our product types to the left so we can scroll through products, sounds contained within any of the machiner expansions or any of my or my machine or factory library and so if we go in here then we get our all types so bass synth drum synth or instrument um so i can navigate to a drum synth for example and go for a tom sound and we get four, 34 results we don't get a pre here option for this, but I could go for this tom sound. Let's go to our plugin instance. So it's loaded that drum synth sound as well as it's loaded this saturator effect on there. So let's go to our eighth pad slot now, back to browser, and let's not navigate via. product now let's navigate just generally and go let's look for another drum sound and go for a symbol sound and it's just going to navigate through all of the symbols that we have saved as sound slots it's important to know it's different from sample samples are just the WAV sample this is sound slot so it could just be the sound it could also be the sound with effects applied. So 
here we go, I've got this hi-hat sound with an EQ, a phaser, a reverb and a compressor on there. So a series of effects loaded. And uh, also we haven't used this four-way encoder too much so far, but I can actually scroll up and down using this and look at my my left display, you know. But I could also use the right and left. So I can do all that navigation stuff from this one controller. So I can go to the drums and move turn in this. I can then switch which category I want to bring up in this search field. So I could go to drum synths or instruments. I could click to the right and go all subtypes and scroll through these and go to guitar. All subtypes again, go to electric guitars and then load one of these up. So I can do all that navigation stuff. You can either use these encoders here, or you could use this one to do it all. Okay, there's our sound slots. Now let's take a look at groups. So groups are what I understand about an individual sound slot. A group is a group of sound slots, up to 16 sounds can be loaded within any one group so we've created our own group effectively here this group a is the stuff that we've created in this walkthrough the little sounds that's a group but we could also load up one of these groups and again we can navigate kits loops multi effects you know so groups can be anything because a sound slot could be anything it doesn't have to be a drum sound or a synth sound it could be a vocal sound an effect noise, just any kind of sound source really. And again, we can navigate through our expansion packs or machina library. And um, say if we've, we've got our group there, if we want to load a group, a fresh group, and we want to keep this group, we can add extra groups very easily. I just click on this button here. The groups are contained over here. The sound slots are contained over here. So I can just add extra groups by just clicking on any one of these buttons here, shift undo. So I've loaded in this empty group here, group B, and then I can load one of these groups on here. So this group A on E kit, for example, load that. And if I hit play, you notice it's played back. So it's not just loaded, go to pad mode. There's the group all the sounds, the 16 sound slots contained within the group. But it's also loaded, go to our events, it's loaded a pattern. Which could be quite a nice way to start creating some stuff. So if I go back to my browse button, you notice if I hold shift, I get some extra options in the group section of the browser. So I can actually do browse plus patterns. So say if we take that off and shift erase, in order to erase kits or sounds, this, this erase button here, if I hold shift erase and then click on a group or a sound slot, I can erase it. So erase that group. I could also erase sound slots that way and do that. So let's now go ahead and load a group without the kit. So load this group here. If I play, nothing plays back. So I've loaded without the patterns, without those events this time. So it's a nice way to either load a ready-made kit or load a kit plus the patterns to get a bit of inspiration down straight away. And then you can cut with that group loaded, you can of course customize that now. So the kick drum is playing back on the first sound slot. I could click on this. Okay, I want to load or select this first sound slot. I want to load something different here now. So I'm going to go back to my sounds or even samples and I'm going to load a kick drum. Stop playback. I'm going to load that into that first sound slot. And I've still got that programming happening with that kick drum, but I've just changed the kick drum sample. I'm 
I'll load the clap, which is on pad six. And go, let's load a different clap in here. So obviously everything is very quick to browse and load, but also completely customizable to just make stuff sound your own very quickly. So the final browse group that we haven't looked at so far is projects. So these are songs, these are actual tracks. So let's go ahead and load one of these in. And we're not gonna save them, discard changes. And now this has loaded in a variety of different groups and contained within these groups are, you know, some of these groups have only got one sound slot loaded, but some of them, like this first one, which I'm assuming is the drums, has a few more sound slots loaded in there. And if I hit playback, it's probably gonna play back if we go to my scenes. We'll look at scenes and sections later on. So this is a combination of stuff that we've talked through. This is sounds, this is groups here with the sound slots loaded inside it. A number of groups with various different sound slots loaded in. Within these groups are different patterns and they're combining together to make this project. And again, we can browse by product type or subtype, and we get a few genres here, electro, load that, discard any changes. Love's machine. And it plays this song. And of course, this song, we can go in and start changing everything about this song if we want to. It's all customizable.